I haven't been 0 2 before. Probably in your whole career. In like Not anything. Alabama, obviously. You know, because honestly, what you think about is like, you're 0 2. You feel like you're not a bad team. But then you think to yourself, you know, it's like, man, the back is like, are you like, do you blow the whole, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a lot, but could be two and oh. Could be two and oh. I think that needs to creep in. Marcus Williams said we started off 0 and 2 at the Saints one year and won 10 straight. <laughs> Guys, we are here back once again. Punchline pod. Presented by Snapback Sports, I'm Marlon Humphrey. We got Jack Settlement here in the building. Jack, talk to us on this uh, non-victory Monday for some teams, including the team, the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, first up, Tua. Tua suffered another concussion. I'm I actually out. just signed uh, I Snoop this morning. Someone sent me that, bro. Um, two, two times now, Tua's obviously fenced. There's been a lot of opinion across the league about whether he should play. Mike McDaniel said, we're worried about the person. We're not worried about him playing. Yeah. Just as a player, obviously we had the scary incident yesterday at the game. Oh, yeah. Um, you've seen the situation. I mean, you know football. You know the risk you're at. As a player, would you still be looking to play? You know, how long has been playing for what this year? What year is this for him? Five, I would say. Yeah, man. I don't know. It'd be hard for it'd be hard for me. Only, I don't know. It just seems like he's very. Uh, and you know, the quarterback position, you can. You know, I'm thinking of if I played quarterback, any other position, it'd be really, it'd be a super hard got to get out of there, um, just because you got to make way more hits. But quarterback, you can be protected. But I don't know. I just feel like my parents would would. You know, I know I'm a grown man, but I feel like my parents would really struggle to even let me keep playing. Yeah. You know, I just kind of, I don't know, man. I mean, he's had a lot of, uh, he's had some stuff, man. He's like always like, you know, unconscious, like, you know, straining and stuff. So I, I think it'll, I think, because uh, I feel like Denzel Ward's kind of in a similar situation. Like he, he's he got one or two more, like, and it can be bad, but how much, how much do you think money plays a part in it? He just signed a $200 million deal. Obviously, he has money from his rookie deal, but if he retires on his own accord and is medically cleared, he kind of wipes that contract. I don't know all the numbers behind it, but oh. do you think that plays a big, medium, small factor? I honestly think Miami would do the right thing in that situation, though, and I don't know. I mean, you can't just pay him out probably his entire contract, but crap. I don't. Based off how I think the head stuff works, from someone that is not that knowledgeable, I don't know if like if he gets another concussion, how does that look in ten years? Like, right. but as of now, just me being like outside looking in, I feel like I'm kind of cooked. <laughs> like my brain might be kind of cooked. Like I might need to start doing stuff like right now for yourself. No, if I was too. Oh yeah. Like I feel like, like my, stop playing probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, that, that's, that's kind of the, that, yeah. So so I agree. The quarterback is more protected. They're gonna take less hits. He slid, he didn't know he had the first down. He probably or he didn't slide. Um, but you never know, right? One linebacker who's just juiced up, hopped up, playing football, flying around, even if he slides, guys get hit in the head. So you I, you're I, at risk, yeah. obviously. I would have to I would have to be out if yeah. I was if I was in his uh Issues. issues, but okay. I know as a competitor, freak. I don't know, man. I just feel like I'd really, I'd really take the doctor's advice like to a T. Yeah. Like, yo, seriously, what do you think like my life would be like when I'm like forty? Like, just right now. And if they're like, mm, then I'd be like, I'm out. So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right, uh, another guy who suffered a head injury, Donald Trump, <laughs> guy, you know, got shot at during about the witching hour on Red Zone. So I think I even missed it. Um, you wanted to talk about the initial attempt. I, I feel like the world needs Marlon Humphrey's thoughts on Look, Donald Trump getting think, shot man. at. When I heard he got shot the first time, I was like, "This is fake. This is fake for sure, for sure, fake." Then. I seen he got a little, got ninked a little bit, got ninked a little bit, a little blood, a little blood. Then I seen somebody died. Yes. So we've had this conversation, me and some of the fellas, family, I've had this conversation. I think this, if I'm setting up my assassination, <laughs> my fake assassination, and you hit me, oh, I'm, 
I'm like, there's no way I'm paying you money and you freaking hit me. So I'm like, I, I'm like, mm, that makes me kind of like, maybe this could have been real. And then when they say like they saw the guy, I'm like, this kind of seems like a little inside job. And then it's like, it, it, it's very, very fishy. It's very, very fishy. But that man took a bullet for America. I mean, he took a bullet for the United States of America. Founded in 1776. 1776. This country, where would we be without that assassination attempt? It's not the first. It's definitely not it's the not first. It's not the first. This man, Donald Trump, took a bullet for America. Did you speak to the Ravens' number one conspiracy theorist on whether he thought it was a legit shot or not? Oh, I feel gosh. like you got. I feel like you got to check in. I definitely got to check in. I don't know why. I have. I definitely got to talk to him about that. He probably knows everything about it. Inside job. How did they not see him up on the thing? I should have. I should have. Yeah. I, it's sketchy. It's sketchy. But I just. I don't know, man. I think. Now, Does you look fine at the debate? A lot of questions. Hey, see, then they said the bandage wasn't on there like a couple days later. <sighs> but you know, he the president. Things don't heal the same. You know, he probably got that that good stuff. You know, he could, he might have a fake ear. Might have a fake earlobe on there. So now the second one, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I do know Trump is going to Alabama Georgia game this weekend. Apparently next week is he or ne is it next week? Whenever uh, the it is, twenty eighth. Yeah, Casey's gonna be down. There. Whenever, hey, I hear they got a lot. They gonna have a lot of security detail. Here's gonna be some of these Bama fans ain't Bama fans, people. It's really Secret Service talking about roll tide. So just just know that, <laughs> just know that. Just be careful who y'all. You know, if you see somebody dressed out in all red, crimson, and they ain't cheering, they're phonies. It's Secret Service. It's Secret Service. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. But. Oh, this this uh this this Trump thing with the assassinations, it's getting wild. It's getting Would wild. Would you even I mean, similar to the Tua conversation, you even want to be president? Everyone's shooting at you all the time. I ain't gonna lie. He he, he got ops. I mean, I do you in the in No the, offense to really more so short people. <laughs> I didn't like how you're sitting there and he just got shot and the president's whoever's shooting could still shoot him again. You got to have the people at least six, whatever. Trump's a big dude. You got two I'm ladies. I'm saying the security. Yeah, you, you got two ladies well, right Trump's there. Trump's big boy. Shoot. That's what I'm He's saying. He's the biggest there. That's what I'm saying. But you got to you got to get some six sixers, which is not probably the easiest secret service. I probably there's not many of those. But that was that was a wild that was a wild sight to me. And I'm I'm low, but I'm low key. I'm height racist. I talk about this all the time. Like if I'm ever a GM, if you ain't five. 10 and a little change, you have no place on my team. <laughs> Zay Flowers, never will be on my team. As good as Zay is, never. Geno Stone, uh -huh. he's not 5'10. Geno's 5'10. And some change. 5'10 and some change. Keyword and some change. <laughs> I tell Gino, I tell people about Gino all the time. I'm like, bro, you're not on my team. Tony Jefferson, is he 5'11? I mean, he might be cutting it close. Who's the best player? What about Tyreek? That's your favorite wideout. And I'm, you hate wideouts. I might have to fall for I might have to change my rule for one guy. And that's him. That, that may be it. Maybe. Who else is short? That's, that, I'm Tony Jefferson's listed at 5'11. Okay, we good. 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 Okay, Tyreek Hill is probably my only. And still, I'm going to be like, ah, uh, uh, no. Okay, fine. fine. Yeah, in, so the, in the theme of Pod vs. Pod, Swift endorsed uh, Kamala. Are you going to endorse Trump? That way we can get the, the Swift real endorsed Kamala? Yeah. After the debate. Honestly, I must say, I am going to vote this year. And I'm actually, I, I've said I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to look up and see, like, what is what. I'm going to try to actually make an educated decision on who to vote for based off Stuff. Every time I try to watch a debate, nothing comes out of it. Nothing. So one year I tried to do that, but nothing. Did you came see out they're eating dogs and cats though? Ooh, what do you mean? Oh, bro, you got to get back on Twitter, dude. I, dude, I maybe I, maybe I Ronnie so Stanley's voting for uh, Trump because Trump claims that they're eating dogs and cats in Ohio. Haitian immigrants. Wait, Trump said they're eating dogs and cats. Yeah. 
in what scenario? What's the what's the? What, there was like a picture from? or a video of like. There's this whole <laughs> big what? conspiracy over Haitian immigrants. It's like highly racist and it's inappropriate that they're making this claim. But uh, yeah, he call, that was the one thing that happened at the debate that you missed. He said that the Kamala. Have they done the debate yet? Yeah, they just. Oh, did I forget. It. Oh, at that dang, I missed it. Yeah, you missed it. You missed it. Dang it. Yeah, so you got to edu- get educated on that. Okay, they're eating dogs and cats. All right, back to the NFL. Have we talked about the game? No, not yet. I haven't been 0 2 before. Probably in your whole career. In like not anything. Not obviously. In like anything. It's a little strange, especially when you feel like you're like not a bad team, but then you kind of, oh man, it's. It's funky. The Baltimore Ravens are 0 2. It's a little funky. It's a little funky. Gotta clear it though. Gotta clear it. Spend today. Gotta clear the. You know, because honestly, what you think about is like, you're 0 2. But you feel like you're not a bad team. But then you think to yourself, you know, it's like, man, the back is like, are you? Like, do you blow the whole, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a lot, but. Could be 2 and 0. Could be 2 and 0. I think that needs to creep in. Got but problems, got problems. Walk, but could in, be walk in today. Marcus Williams said we started off 0 and 2 at the Saints one year and won 10 straight. I said, there's a bright, was it? There's a, there's a bright, there's a dirt spot on every colored penny. Mm. I think I made that up, <laughs> but you get the point. First INT of the season. How's that feel when the team loses the game? I just dag I want to win. Like I just got done with the game and you're just like then you gave up a, then I gave up a tutty. So it's really hard to have a good game when you give up a tutty. The pick was cool, but ah man, I want to win and I just didn't feel like I I mean, one was a third down stop. I should have I played very mid, touchdown at the end. But cool to get on the board, but man, we got to win. What's it like guarding Devontae? We talk about guarding the best all the time in your rankings, lists, et cetera, but actually playing against him. I mean, I don't, at the line, I mean, he's like one or two. With just dig it. Like, I mean, frick. I mean, he literally spun me around. I was like eight yards away from my man in man coverage one time. So he's elite. He, co- he started cooking at the end, but no, he's, he's elite. I think, uh, I was surprised to see Pastor Tain's list and he wasn't on there. <laughs> then I think I saw he like posted uh, the game winner he had on him, like on his IG story or something like that. Sometimes you see the drama on Instagram. So, yeah, he's he's elite. Um, got another elite one this week, CD Lamb. So, mm. how how do you guard CD differently than you would guard a Devontae? You know, I actually have only gone against CD one time. Um, back when I was playing primarily slot. This was COVID year. Sometimes when you watch someone's like film and they're doing things so easy, you think like they're not as good as they are. Like his CD's college self was just like, dang, just nobody can just tackle the dude. Like he ain't doing nothing. And then you guard him. You're like, oh, frick. Dude's actually pretty good. So that, I got to see. Um, start tonight, but I know they put up a lot of points, I think, week one. Yeah. And then kind of got beat. Well, the Saints are just rolling, but I don't know. We got to see and get it going. And what was the rookie like? Bowers had a huge game. And and so Saban, we saw a clip on Hard Knocks. This was before the season that Saban told Dable, the Giants head coach, that Brock Bowers was one of the toughest players he ever had to coach against, and he gave him some of the most fits out of any player he ever coached against. He did have a catch. He caught a bang, went to the ground. I thought I was going to get it out. Thought I jarred it out. Did not. Um, I don't know. It's I, Tight ends are like tight ends. I re, like Unless it's like Kittle, Waller, who's retired now. Kittle, Waller. I like the, the rivalry. You won't even give him love. I respect that. No, I'm trying to think of more. No, I know. You're forgetting maybe one <laughs> one of the guys. Or maybe you're saying he's not that good. Kelsey, because he'd be doing just crazy crap out there. 
He almost tried the, the lateral again yesterday. I did see that. I think there was a penalty on that one, yeah, though. Yeah, I mean, literally, that won't be Steve with, with Kelsey. Ran up the field, 360 spin out the gate, okay? Then he, it's like he just knew Mahomes was going to scramble. Goes vertical, goes left, goes right, up, stick, up. So it's just hard to, and he does so much with his hands. You know, honestly, if it, and then it's like, I mean, in practice this year, training camp for the Ravens, Mark Andrews then likely were lining up at X and one-on-ones. Like we did a period where it was three wide receivers on the left. No, yeah, three wide receivers on the left. Tight ends on the right. And I ain't gonna lie, they was kind of balling. Like low-key, they went like one day, it was like they did not drop a pass. I, I, but the ball did not hit the ground at that side. So it was like... So you're not ready to crown him yet? I'm I'm not ready to crown him just yet, only because, I mean, he he's 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 good, he's good, but I don't know. I'd, I'd have to I'd have to guard. I mean, it's as a corner, it's it's different. Most tight ends, all they're gonna do is freaking big body and crap like Mark Andrews and likely and crap. But I don't know. He I guess he's doing really really well. Um, was that him that caught that? Honestly, keep the whole stack. I, at 87, 89, I'd be getting confused with the two of them. Yeah, he was 89, I believe. But um, he caught the one down by the goal that, line. That was him? Yeah, yeah. Frick, you want to scramble play? Yeah. No, him and Devontae had a had a strong second half. What would you think of uh, the B. Steve call in the end zone on Devontae that's being hotly uh, debated? Honestly, I have not watched it a second time besides – Live, which I didn't really see much of it, but I know BC tried to run off to celebrate. But <laughs> PIs, man. Yeah, you got a ticky tacky one too. Yeah, I got a, I got a PI. Did you too. think yours was? I asked the ref. He said I grabbed him early, earlier. Mm -hmm. um, My hot take, and this is gonna maybe I'll take all the heat off you. I thought it was PI in today's day and age where like anything they were kind of like locked up. And Devontae, at the last second, he kind of moved, and it it just looks like it. I don't think it was a bad call. I just think it's an annoying call in that spot because they were locked up, but you can see why the ref called it. Yeah, P.I.s, man. P.I.s, man. They love them. They love them. Don't, hey. they love Did you them. see the Bengals Chiefs P.I.? Well, the guy came early? Yeah. Like, we love to hate on them getting all the calls, but, like, that's a clear P.I., right? I looked bad on the replay. I'm not going to lie. I did look bad on the replay. It seemed like it went to say bang, bang. Dude, Cam Taylor Britt, oh, that pick was crazy. After talking crazy about Worthy, saying all he can do is run straight, that was crazy. That was, that was, that was, that was backing up your talk. So you think it was P.I., though, the Chiefs? Battle. It was close, though, but you could call it. But it was very close. I, I thought it was close. It was definitely close, also but like if, if he also definitely got there too. Early. Yeah, also you can make a play. Yeah, but also he if he if he caught it, would they have called pi? Probably not. Yeah, I feel like if he caught it, they wouldn't have called pi. It's crazy because he just jumped so high. Oh, why don't we call Gino? Ask him if he thought it was pi. Yeah, because we 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 called. He jumped so high. Yeah, he jumped so high and like almost like teabagged the dude. That was the thing. <laughs> like. If what's his name would have jumped higher, it would have been, it probably would have, I don't know. It it do be seeming like, now the one I didn't like, was it, was it holding on Kelsey that took away an interception by them? Yeah, yeah. I will say that the Chiefs are definitely turning to the modern day Patriots of like, even when the call is like a good call, it's just like, like how much dang, they it's mean? always something. Like, it's always something to answer. But you know, you you gotta you gotta win games. I gotta I. You know I don't want to. Back to the Ravens. Well, not back to the Ravens. There's there's a. There's a. There's a conversation to be had, man. But. Keep it internal. Keep, keep it internal. internal. That's just proof. We wanted to show you guys that we keep, keep it, things keep internal. It, here. Keep it internal. Uh, last internal. thing before NS Humph. You're going to Jerry World. You played there once before. I have never played never. there in the NFL. I have played there maybe what through a couple college games. Two, 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 three times in college. USC season opener, Michigan State. College football playoff. Wisconsin and Wisconsin. Three, I was did we open up game. two times in yeah. Dallas? Yeah. 
Wisconsin. Then I watched Alabama play Michigan when I was a recruit. It was weird. It was a home game in Alabama, and I was a recruit. And I remember watching, and my dad was like, D. Milner, man, he just went first round off that one game. I was like, dang, that's how it worked? And he went first round. What's it like playing in Jerry World? Honestly, you know, I can't really exactly remember. I I did tell wifey, though, she's got to try to make this one just because it's like, you know, she doesn't really understand exactly yet. Like, she was asking yesterday, why can't you pass interference? Like, I was like, well, you got to give him a chance. She was like, but the point is, I was like, if there was no P.I., I'd tackle the guy out the gate. Maybe she's <laughs> spitting low key. Hey, honestly, why can't you? <laughs> honestly, like, why can't we just run or just deal with the consequences? Yeah, if the goal is to not let people score, that seems like a good way to not let people score. Yeah, so I feel like Jerry's World started the whole sweet seats. Yeah. Honestly, they probably should be doing a renovation pretty soon. I think they constantly are updated. Oh, but they we, were just, so we got far a tour ahead. last year, and, so and then we were ahead. down there. The, the only bad thing about Jerry World as a player, I would imagine, is if you get cooked, it's a big screen for everyone to oh, look I at. I forgot. It's, it's, it's literally like 80 yards. I forgot. Yeah, they were so far ahead of the game, honestly, with the stadium. They were probably just – and they're like a huge field outside of the stadium. Is it, is there a field outside of the stadium? I know their practice facilities. Like for fans? Um, I thought uh, – maybe not. I know people run inside the stadium or something for yeah. open seating, but – Okay. Woo! All right, to Dallas you go. Analyst time, Humph. Boogie. Hey, look, Anderson, I was really cooking last week, but then I sizzled out because South Carolina wants to play around. Like, that pick six, get, was that was the only flag on that quarterback? Yeah. That was that. See, that's bull crap. So it's like you can't even block the quarterback anymore? You literally can't block the quarterback. You can't blindside you, them. Oh, they have blindside rules. Yeah. They have that NFL, too. You know you can't blindside anymore. You can't blindside. If you ever blocked for an interception, don't blindside. I be trying to block sometimes. <laughs> it seems like they never come my way. But we haven't gotten the interception in a while. My last time I did not hold a block, I took you away You got the interception. Six. I took away a pick six for Tyus Bowser. But Corey Davis made a good play. I was, he shed me and everything. Tyus didn't read the block well. All but, right, um, so analyst on what was, what was what was that? Well, number point? one, let's talk about number one. Did I say put a, like, mortgage, your entire mortgage on Alabama? Did you I did. say that? Uh, second bedroom, I think. Second bedroom. Yeah. So now you got three bedrooms. Okay, what else did I, who else did I say? I said put the house on who? South Carolina. Did I? Well, you, you there were no house bets last week. Just bedrooms yeah. and cars, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> who did, I feel like I was. If you're, if you're at home, you can't get anywhere, but you got three bedrooms to sleep in. You, you don't need rooms. to go anywhere. There was something else. Oh, I said Oregon. Yep, they, was gonna they won. going to take care of business. I knew I should have said FSU was going to lose. You you got to stand on it. Tugalayola, too. I mean, no. Wait. <laughs> D Ugalele, man. Who? I didn't watch no game. But... It ain't pretty. Man, and we were at Pitt West Virginia. That game was crazy. That game. The pick the pick quarterback, I think he might be the real deal. He <sighs> might be the real deal. Holstein. Just a name to watch for. Alabama transfer. Oh yeah, he went to Bama. Everybody's transferring, man. I know. Um, In a perfect world, how many times should you be able to transfer? Two times. Two times. Because one time you can go somewhere, the whole coaching staff leave. Yeah. And the second time is just, you know. Second time, you, you would have to think, I'm only transferring here because I like the situation and the coaching staff. If you're transferring for money, it, you can only go two times, right? Yeah. And that's like every year. Yeah. Just get a pay raise every year. It's crazy. There's somebody transferred... Every year and still not playing. That's a crazy thing. And I can now you can play. No, but I'm saying like I'm trans. I'm a backup here. Yeah. I'm gonna transfer here, and then I still do not play. Yeah. But I'm still getting it back, and I transfer again, and I still don't play. It's kind of a crazy con. It's it's weird. Like you sign a free agent in the NFL for five to, million to play. They're more than likely like they're gonna play at first. Like no matter what. Like it's crazy. It's a crazy world out here. Uh, are you going to acknowledge the number one team in the country? Who's the number one team in the country? Texas. They passed Georgia. They got uh, Manning out there. 
They said, man, he got that aura. He got that sour. I was wondering why he was playing, though. I didn't even know. Yeah, Arch Quinn got hurt. No, I said, hey, I, I said, I said, Texas going all the way. Don't lose in one game. Okay. All right, respect it. What ended up in the Kentucky-Georgia game? 13-12, Georgia won. <gasps> wow. Did not know that ended like that. Yeah. Crap. I knew it was getting a little funky out there. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Wow. All right, game number one of this week. Number 11, USC, who had that big win over LSU in the opener. They're five and a half point favorites at Michigan in the big house. Michigan got throttled by Texas. They're, they're what favorites? Touchdown favorite, six points. Oh, my goodness. You want that card back? Call your daggum mother, sister, and tell them, I need all y'all's mortgages. I need all three and put it on USC. No shot. Six? Got to be a trap. What's going on? What's going on? There's got to be something. Either USC is not that good. That's it. Because Michigan benched the quarterback. He's throwing like five picks. They don't have a qu- they can't they can't they can't do it. three mortgages. Triple three. mortgage guarantee. Triple. 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 Okay. Triple six. Next game, number 12, Utah at number 14, Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State three point favorites. That line would make me think Cam Rising will not play in the game on Saturday, but cannot confirm nor deny. What he hurt? I actually do not know. We'll get our analyst Oklahoma on. Oklahoma State. They got Ali Gordon. They got Bowman, who's like in his 19th year. If if rising plays, it'll be like 18 years of combined experience between the two quarterbacks. Where's the game at again? It's in Oklahoma State. Go Pokes. Pokes? I thought they were Cowboys. They are. They're the Pokes. I actually don't know why they're the Pokes. Oh, a Poke and a Cowboy. A poke is. A poke is a cowboy. Uh, Ali Gordon for Oklahoma State, the big time running back. He's been struggling to start the season. But Has he's, he? He's the dude from Boise State still going crazy? Huh? The dude from Boise State still yeah. going federal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a finger on his throwing hand for rising. Oh, Oklahoma State. Running back's been struggling? It's time. It's time for him to not struggle. Okay. It's time. I've not watched Oklahoma State this year, but it's time. Final game of the ranked predictions, Tennessee, number six, Nico. They're balling. They're I seven think Tennessee, and a, I believe in Tennessee. They're seven and a half point favorites at Oklahoma, number 15 in the country. Oklahoma's a tough place to play. So they're seven? I for some reason believe in this Tennessee thing. I'm a little scared. Tennessee makes me a little nervous. They were up like 60 to nothing at halftime. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a, I, 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 at Oklahoma though. Who was Oklahoma's first two games? They just beat Tulane, and then they struggled against someone. They beat Temple 51-3, then beat Houston 16-12, to yeah. and then just beat Tulane 34 Temple's the worst team in college football. Like, out of all. Yeah, honestly, I think I saw some of that Tulane game. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't like what I saw. Tennessee, give it to me. Really? In Oklahoma, they might choke with Oklahoma, though. I know. I feel like this is one where you're like, I like Tennessee. I like what they got going. And then we get here next Monday, and you're like, I knew that. Ah, only because Tennessee, they beat Bama two years ago? Or, yeah, two years ago. That was in, in Knoxville. In Knoxville, though. yeah. Look, if you like Tennessee, I don't want to talk you off Tennessee. I'm just saying I've seen this story before. Oklahoma was a tough place to play. It's tough. Are they ready? College football is so crazy. Young quarterback, too. First, you know. Maybe. I don't think I like Oklahoma, though. I'm, I'm with you. That's why this number is this number. Balls, go balls. Go okay. balls, go, man. Give it to me. Go balls. All right, last one. I... <laughs> they should, they're going to, yeah. Okay. Last one. I'm going to Baylor, Colorado. Dion, they took care. Look, of... I took, hey, hey. Colorado. Are you back the in? The whole O-line with the back and the media thing, crazy work. Like, all of them doing the presser is just <laughs> ridiculous. It's like a clown show over there. It's so They funny. do do things so just You saw Shadur in the quarterback? Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah. State oh, quarterback? not shaking his hand. Yeah. Yeah. Hit, man, they. You think that's the right or the wrong move? Just because, I mean, right? Dude, t- like, 
just shake the dude's hand. Like it's like it's like foot like it's like football. It's like what do you think he's gonna say? Like <laughs> you've you've been in this professional business, in this profession for a while now. Do you think that Shadur's antics, as we can call them, would impact his draft stock? Like there's certain teams that are like, I'm not taking this guy, or talent will just overrun that. Basically, how I feel like what Shadur is doing would not be a big deal if he was not the quarterback. But you are the quarterback. So, like, like every quarterback, you have to go shake the other quarterback's hand at the end of the game in NFL. Yeah. I don't know about college rules. I mean, he's thrown his O-line under the bus before. There, there are things that people call out that I think. Yeah, I mean, his uh, dad definitely is is empowering the, the, the guy for yeah. sure, which – you know, it's almost like you want to be comfortable, but you're almost like a little too comfortable. I do think he can ru- he will rub some teams the wrong way. Sometimes when he does media interviews, though, he seems like he's a really smart dude. Like, yeah. seems like a really like, and I think sometimes he just doesn't really exactly know. My thing is the only thing that's really frowned upon is is sportsman th- throwing your teammate. Yeah. Under the bus. When it comes to sportsmanship, I was gonna say, like, I hate it. To to be honest, Baker Mayfield, he planted the flag. Like, Shadur's not the first one to ever yeah, rile shake, his opponent. Yeah, though. the shaking, not shaking that. I I just think you should have. I wouldn't have even walked up to the dude, honestly. But you want to say something to his face? That's cool too. But but not throwing your teammates under the bus. Yeah, that's the only one. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the only. But me, we lose. I told you, I ain't shaking nobody. If I was a quarterback, I don't give a frick. I, y'all know, y'all can say whatever y'all want about me. I ain't doing it. No, I mean, Tom Brady was known for doing that. Cam Newton got, you know, harassed in the media for that. Yeah, if like, I lost the biggest game of my life. Yeah, I'm, screw that. I'm out of here. Who, who are you going to go yeah, hang like, out with? Yeah, there's like this weird thing. So I kind of, sometimes I be liking what they be doing over there. They be wilding out. Young boys. Why, why not? Why, why can't I wild out? Who you like in the game? <sighs> yeah, I hope they don't get a big head. After, after, mm. I mean, was Colorado State really good? No. You know, last year, I feel like they actually were kind of, and maybe was Colorado just worse? I think Colo- uh, the Colorado was kind of the same. They made some plays last year, though, yeah. Colorado State last year. They made some serious plays. Travis Hunter is crazy. Um, he's really like that. Colorado, where is it at? Colorado. And it's what? I actually don't know what the spread is in that game. I kind of wanted you to pick it based off vibes without that information. Honestly, 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 honestly. Don't tell me. Don't don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Who's the quarterback for that team? Uh, Sawyer Robertson. He has one touchdown in three games played. I love me, Dagum, Colorado. Let's go to get it, baby. Woo! It's a one-point spread anyways. Oh, let's go. Straight up. Colorado, look. You know what you think is going to happen? Oh, they finally got things fixed. Now they're going to tank. No. They're going to keep, keep on. They're going to keep on rolling. I feel like you forgot the most important game of the slate. Uh Nebraska and Riola is playing their first ranked matchup against Illinois. And you see he denied in the media that he's like copying Mahomes. Dude, I literally saw him do a fake Hand off. I saw him do a fake handoff in warm up and do all the like <laughs> weird movements in my home. Like, that, like, I don't. <laughs> you want to know what really sucks about my homes? He really is like a pretty good dude. Like, he's not like a douche. He's not like, he really is like actually a pretty solid guy. You talk to him after the game, like, he really be like, even on the field, throws a pass, like, bro, 23 made a really good play. That was a good play by 23. That was a good play. Like, he really ain't a douche. Like, I'd, I'd almost rather him be just talking crazy, reckless. Like, F you, boy, I'm about, to, I'm about to cook all night. And then, like, he just beats you and does all these, like, it's just, this is all a dude. Like, you see him in the offseason and stuff and you freaking hang out. It's just like, he really be chilling, which kind of makes it worse. Totally. Like, I kind of. You can't want, hate him. Yeah, I kind of. That's want, why everyone loves Shadur, because when it's bad, you can just talk back to him. Exactly. He's easy to hate on. Yeah. Sometimes you make it easy. Got to make it easy to I hate agree. on. It's impossible to hate on Mahomes. But then, is Lamar easy to hate on? No. But I feel like he gets the most hate. A lot of hate. Yeah, I don't know why. You know, that's actually kind of uh yeah. Well, because Mahomes does have. He's got all the rings, right? It's people love to hate the greats because they're so polarizing. 
But what can you say about Mahomes? That's the other thing. You can't really say anything about him either. Well, I don't think players hate Lamar. I think, like, the media for does. Sure, for sure. Yeah. Fair but sure. I don't even think the media hates Mahomes. They just accept it. Like, yeah. this is the dude. I think everyone felt the way you did about Raiola, where it was like, you know what? Copy the great, and it's okay. And yeah. everyone said that. And then as soon as he, they were like, all right, now it's weird. If you're going to deny you're copying him. <laughs> yeah. and people, are saying Wait, Mahomes is, people are saying Mahomes is copying him. Honestly, that is his nephew. <laughs> that is that is his cousin. That is his cousin. The want to be whatever. Wait, he straight up got asked, "Are you copying Mahomes?" Uh, something like that. Yeah, and he's, and he's what he's and who he, do you say he's copying? Or he's just saying no, he's being himself. He's just being himself. <laughs> respect that. No, you gotta respect that, dude. May, I'm my own person. Maybe in his mind, he's just watched so much Mahomes. It has just seeped into his brain that, like, you know what? I think I'm gonna do this like er thing, like to the stands that like. <laughs> Cause like there was nothing wrong was was who was that was it Mac Jones copying the Brady yeah, the Brady truck? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with copying like, right? It's kind of, it's a little. It's By a the little way, crazy. Mahomes before he started adding the knee jump, he did the fist bump same way as Brady. Like I think what's weird is Mahomes probably would have said, yeah, I could see how it's a little like like Brady, but Rayola was just like, nah, it's not. Like, nah, bro, I actually don't even know Mahomes. Honestly, <laughs> he he DM me. Like, okay, I right, see now you lost. See, okay, well, I, I, I think that. I might have to add uh, so is Raiola to my not like my really? not like list. I feel like you would rock with someone who's like so confident that this is just who they are and not even related to anyone else. Honestly, you know what? You're right. Sometimes I like somebody who is just so far, just so like not believing what's there. That's the thing. If you're gonna do that, go all in. Yeah, I literally wore 15. This is the only jersey they gave me. I didn't have another choice. They just gave me 15. I didn't even want 15. Like No, I I, th- I agree with you. They, he needs to say in a press conference, I don't know who Mahomes is. That would it, set the world on fire. Literally. Whoever his PR person is, put us in touch. That's his next press We know how to get the media going yeah, on punchline yeah, pod. Yeah. I didn't see the quote. It's much funnier. I just try to mimic my game after myself. Oh, yeah. I like this guy. Yeah. Actually. I just went from not liking him. As, as long as he stays on this route, he's my guy. Do not fold, Dylan. Do, Do not, not all of a fold. sudden, like, well, I was watching my home. Well, no, I was actually watching myself mentally, actually, on film. <laughs> That's that, I need one of those quotes coming soon. All right, fam. Thank you for tuning in. Good luck in Dallas. Hopefully the Ravens get back on track. Hopefully no one else gets shot at. Everyone stay safe out there. Much love. Peace. Love. Peace. <clears throat>